Welcome! Finally, uh, I solved the Texan PL90X uh, standby power problem. Uh, as you can see, the radio now has a current draw of about 88 microamps. This is a great value. The manual states 120 microamps. Uh, the, after powering the radio on and off, the current draw slowly settles again to 88 microamps. This is due to the charging of the supercapacitor. This capacitor supplies the radio with the power when uh, you proceed a battery change. With a standby current of only 88 microamps, the battery life is now about uh, 1200 hours or 3.3 years. This now sounds correct. And now let's see what the problem was. As I stated in an earlier video, uh, my Texan PL990X uh, had a count draw of about 5 to 6 milliamps uh, in standby and uh, this uh, results in a uh, standby time of about 1 to 2 weeks. And the 18650 battery uh, was drained to death because uh, this high standby current um, didn't stop uh, even uh, if the lower voltage level of uh, the 18650 was reached uh, about, I don't know, 2.5 to 3 volts. First, uh, let's have a look um, what components are involved in the power path of the 18650. First, we have a, a Schottky diode. This Schottky diode has a forward voltage drop of about um, oh, 0 0.2 volts. And uh, we have a P-channel MOSFET. A MOSFET. A P -channel MOSFET. And we have uh, the USB power in and this USB power in, uh, goes to the Schottky diode. In normal operation uh, the P-channel MOSFET um, is switched uh, through so uh, the power from the battery is delivered to the radio. If you uh, plug in the USB power and the battery is still Inside, uh, the P-channel MOSFET will um, switch off. So the battery is disconnected from the radio and the USB power will charge uh, the battery and the Schottky diode uh, will become conductive and uh, the USB power um, will be delivered to the radio. Okay, if the USB is plugged in, the P-channel MOSFET is switched off. Uh, first, uh, I desoldered the P-channel MOSFET and tested it and um, it behaves normally. Uh, I soldered it in back again and um, I still had the 5 to 6 milliamps standby current. Then I did a few things and uh, I cannot say what uh, finally solved the problem. I desoldered the Schottky diet and uh, tested it, it was okay. Then I um, uh, resoldered some uh, of the components around the Schottky diet, R09 and R08, and then I uh, cleaned the PCB with alcohol. And um, after that, uh, I soldered uh, the Schottky diet. Uh, back to its place and I don't know maybe um, there was a leakage current uh, under the pads or um, faulty solder joints after I did the, uh, all this what I told you um, the standby current dropped to about 88 microamps so my suggestion is um, give the PCB a good clean Maybe these two components are faulty somehow and um, this was the way I solved the problem. Okay, thank you. 
Oh, wait, wait. Um, two more things. After solving uh, the problem with the standby current, the um, issue with the uh, volume and hysteresis was still there, uh, I mentioned in my previous video. And um, when I opened the radio, I uh, found this and microphone. Uh, the Texan PA, PL uh, 990X uh, has a microphone uh, inside. As you all know, uh, the PL 990X can play music via the SD card, but has uh, no recording function. But why is there a microphone? Very strange. Um, maybe there's a hidden function? Uh, we don't know. Okay, thank you.